Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. First of all, an apology. Previously in the video where we upgraded the Tiny Hawk S to the Project Mockingbird 4.1 48kHz version, uh, when we got to the VTX Video Transmitter Tables tab, um, I was quite pleased to see that the VTX tables were already there. Now as it turns out, uh, they were already there because I'd previously put them there as part of my upgrade to the previous version of Project Mockingbird. So when you do this, if you follow the video from factory to this point, uh, you probably won't get the VTX tables included. Uh, so my apologies for that. However, it's fairly straightforward to fix. So we'll look at doing that now. The first thing we need to do is go to the uh, Betaflight configurator, connect up to the quad. Once we're there, we can go to the video transmitter tab. And yours will look a little bit different to this. It will look pretty blank. So if you click the link at the top here that says go to this page, that will open up the GitHub page for VTX tables on Betaflight's uh, GitHub. If you scroll down, you'll find uh, a list of predefined uh, VTX tables. And the one we want to use is the Smart Audio 2.0. Sorry. Uh, click the one for your region. Um, I've gone for EU. However, that does mean that there are some race band channels missing. Um, I use predominantly use race band, so I needed to add those back in. But for now, if we go to here, right click and choose save link as, we'll get an option to download that somewhere and save it. Uh, so as you can see, I've already got that. So I'm not gonna save it again. And then we go back into beta flight. We click load from file and select the file that you've just downloaded. So let's assume we're going to hit Smart Audio 2.0 EU. And we'll open that. And it will load those values. As you can see, it says there it's not yet stored in the flight controller. I'm not going to store this one because it will overwrite what I've already got in there. So as you can see, on RaceBand, there's a couple of channels, there's a few channels missing there. Now I added those back in at this point before I hit save. So I'll just disconnect and reconnect for a second. Uh, and that'll refresh for me. So I added channel one, two, seven and eight back in. Uh, and the values, if you need them, are there. So you can put those in. So that's race band one is 5658. Race band two, 5695. Race band seven, 5880. And race band eight, 5917. Once you've done that and you're happy, uh, choose the channel and uh, band up here if you want as to what it's going to select when it boots up. So I pick race band one because I generally use race band one. And then click save. And that should be all you need to do. So you should now have VTX channels on. So if you power up the quad properly, put your goggles on, choose race band one in my case, uh, that VTX should be working and you should have the channels that you need. Uh, full disclaimer here though, I have found that having done this, uh, when I select a new channel through the OSD, it looks like it's changing channel, but then the goggles can't find it. Uh, so you have to pull the power out of the quad, repower it, and then it comes up on the right channel. I don't know if that's a bug uh, with this particular version of Betaflight, or it's something to do with this Matek target or what, um, but I've seen a few posts around that have said the same thing. So just sort of full disclosure, uh, it is a slightly strange behavior, but it does find the channels. You just have to re effectively reboot the quad and it will boot up on the correct channel. Now that may be deliberate. I don't know. Anyway, I hope this helped everybody get up and running again. Uh, apologies that this wasn't included in the original video, but hopefully we're rectifying that now. Uh, I will put a card on the original video to link to this. So hopefully you should get there and uh, everybody will be happy. So thanks for coming back. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.